AI has the potential of becoming a catalyst for evolution, especially uh, in a country like India. Recently, there has been a lot of buzz around the impacts of AI, especially after the launch of ChatGPT late last year. For example, in his recent visit to India, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, pointed out that AI has the potential of becoming a catalyst for evolution, especially uh, in a country like India. As recently pointed out by Indian government, the most critical concern, especially in the Indian context, is the potential negative impacts of AI on digital users. Therefore, several countries, including the European Union, China, the US, and now India, are contemplating regulating AI. However, it raises some critical questions. Will it really help digital citizens, or will it hurt the growth of AI? Also, how to regulate AI? Since technologies like deep fake can allow anybody to create fake video, fake music, uh, that can be used for uh, many dangerous activities such as identity thefts or even impacting elections, it makes complete sense to have some regulations on AI. However, any such regulation would also impede the growth of uh, AI in sectors such as uh, healthcare, where AI could help physicians in saving lives and reducing costs. Therefore, one need to find a fine balance. At this stage, the focus of regulation should mainly be on maintaining transparency and accountability, rather than just curbing the development of AI-based solutions. The policymakers need to avoid knee-jerk reactions of creating unnecessary roadblocks in the growth of AI, especially in a country like India, where AI can disrupt many industries and may help society in a great way. There need to be an independent commission or committee set up by the government that can set direct ways to publicly vet these uh, claims of AI companies, ensure their products are being regularly tested, and lay the groundwork for fines or other actions when they fall short. And this would lead to a win-win situation for everybody, including the digital citizen, the society, and the AI companies.